All right, hey guys, here with Rear Disc. I got another video for you today, another unboxing. So I got two bags in here. One is in, uh, let's see, a Lada 264 E4 luxury bag, and then the other one is a Lada 264 Core Pro bag. They're on sale. The E4 was $100, $99.99, $100 half off is normally $200, apparently. The Core Pro was normally $70, I got it for $29.99, so 30 bucks, so 130 bucks for both. Free hat came with it. I also had $39 off of dynamic disc bucks. So I paid less than hundred bucks for these two bags. Let's check it out. Okay. Box, box, box. Here we go. All right. Super stoked about this. Never used the Latitude 64 bags before, so. Dang, the back looks huge. That's what the back looks like, guys. Look at that. Oh no, there you go. Okay, the first bag I thought was huge. Turns out that's not even the biggest bag. The big bag was underneath it. So here are the two bags. Let's go ahead and take the box out of the way here. We have a free hat. If you spend $100 or more at um, Dynamic Disc, whatever hat you put in there, you get it for free. I just chose this one, whatever. I have enough hats, but that's cool. So here are the bags. So you guys can see, we have a shipping, shipping slip here. That's nice. Don't need that. Here's the first bag. Here's the second bag. So there we go. I don't know. The Core Pro bag, I chose black because uh, I didn't really care for the blue color and I thought red was just too bright. I like the subtleness. That looks really nice. So we got the material here. I tried looking up to see what kind of material this is. It looks like it's ripstop, the way the weave is right now. So you can just kind of see how there's a weave right here, like a grid weave. Looks like it's a ripstop nylon material, not Cordura, uh, but it feels like Cordura, so it's cool. All of this right here is uh, like pressed on like a stamp press so there's that and the core pro it comes flat so you kind of trying to figure this out here there's a desiccant we don't really need it let's go ahead and there's a flap in here and i'm just going to fold it down and that just creates the rigidity of the bottom of the bag so there we go for 30 bucks, it's a pretty, pretty um, compact bag. I really don't know what this would compete with because brand new, it's 80 bucks. Um, it's like almost the same size as like my Rufus, I feel like, but like a tenth of the cost. <laughs> um, this flap on the top here, it just feels like a giant like plastic wrap piece. The zippers, let's see the zippers here. The zippers are not YKK, they're just generic zippers, but the zipper pulls are nice. It's got this black zipper pull strap with the uh, red logo there. We can just toss this over here. Um, yeah, it's just a very simple bag. Just the bottom, this is the top putter pouch right here. And then this is the bottom main compartment right here. On the side, there is a pocket right here. It's a very simple bag. It's like one of those like beginner bags, I must say. This side, I think this pocket, it has a zipper pull. I don't know what this is for. I'll do a review later. Um, it looks like it's for water bottle, but at the bottom, there's going to be a little hole right here, a drain hole. So it acts as a pocket and a water bottle holder. So I'm not sure how that works. The other side's got the same layout. It also has pocket and a water bottle holder um, with with no drain hole look at that so that wow so that means only this side is quote unquote meant for water bottle and then the top butter pocket also has this pocket in the back to put your stuff in I don't really know that's pretty much it it's got a handle right here up here it's got this bag right here. It's really light. I mean, it's got these shoulder straps. There's 3D mesh material, 3D mesh material down here. It's a very generic bag, guys. Like, there's nothing crazy about this. This is probably the most generic bag I've ever purchased. I'll be honest with you. It was 30 bucks. So I was like, oh, might as well just, like, get it for $30 and see what it's all about. 
but no one brand new is 80. I think I'd rather spend 30 for this than 80 bucks, to be honest with you. So I'm glad I got it for 30 bucks. So yeah, so that's the Core Pro. Let's go ahead and put that over here. This is the Latitude 264 flagship bag. Let's see what this is all about. This is normally $200. I got it for 100 on sale. Um, so there we go. It's got the tag up here. Um, this material feels a lot more sturdier and more higher premium than the Core Pro bag. So it feels like a, probably like a 1000D nylon material. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of similar to the Dynamic Disc Combat Ranger that I, that I had. So here's the bag, the front. It comes all preloaded with the shape. It's got a hard shape in the back right here. Um, the, the shoulder straps, much thicker than the Core Pro. Much thicker, but it, it's still pretty th like thin, like uh, narrow. And then it's sewn onto the piece right here. It's got mesh, mesh, 3D mesh in the back right here. Um, it does not have a sternum strap. Um, we back to the front of the bag. We have zipper pulls. We have a big pocket down here. I don't know what this is for. And then we have this opens up like that. And then this is a Velcro piece. Well, I did not know that. Okay. We got dividers, we got desiccants, and then it's got this velcro piece, kind of like just like that. There's a velcro back here underneath this this top po pocket, and you just kind of fold it down like that. And yeah, it's the bottom piece has a cushion right here, but it has hard material at the bottom. You put this cushion in. And there's five feet, just sort of like the Dynamic Disc Combat Ranger. So it's very similar layout, very similar like sh in terms, terms of like framework. And even the side, like the the Ranger, on the side it has pockets like this. And then this is where you put your putters. But the putter pocket has another pocket next to it with a zipper. So then, and it has a mini pocket for your mini right here. Um, on the other side, it's got a similar layout at the top right here. Yeah, this reminds me of the Dynamic Disc Ranger. I mean, they're both oh, the same company, so that makes sense. We have another small pocket here. And then we have this little Velcro piece right here. I think this Velcro piece is for your umbrella or your stool that goes in here. And then this is your cup holder. It only has one cup holder which is very similar to the Combat Ranger. It's got a little bit of insulation. It's got a little zipper pull to hold things down. Um, this little thing is just like the Combat Ranger, the same buckle up here, feed everything through here, except it's got this little piece right here so you can hook your towel up here. So that's a nice touch. The top compartment here, it opens up like this. Inside there's a little Velcro pocket. And then your disc just kind of like lay slanted down. And there's also a pocket back here as well to put your keys. It's a very interesting layout of a bag, I gotta tell you. Zippers are not YKK, they are just uh, generic zippers. Yeah, so it's similar to the Combat Ranger, but I'm actually excited to use it because it does have slightly different layout than the Combat Ranger. I wanna see how comfortable it is. It feels lighter than the Combat Ranger. I'll have to do a comparison between these two. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up with discs and see how they look. All right, got the bag loaded up with all the discs that are currently in my daily bag, daily driver bag. Um, so I went from the Lord to the Combat Ranger that I've been rocking for the last week. And then, yeah, now I have this. So I've transferred everything over, I got my towel. I put the stool here, normally I don't carry the stool, I'm a casual, obviously. But I put the stool here so you guys can see. This little pocket right here, I'll do a review this later. But this little pocket, I think it's meant for just an umbrella, but you can stick two of your uh, stool's legs into that and it works out fine. We got the water bottle holder, 32 ounce, it fits there just fine. Right now there are, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 
16, 17, 20. And uh, there's nothing up here. I just, this is, I think this is meant for a valuables pocket, but you can use it as a putter pocket. But then if you do, I don't know where these would go. So I'm gonna have to play around with this bag for the next week or so. Um, let's see how it works with this bag. But yeah, this is gonna be the, the, the bag that I'm gonna be rocking for the next week, a uh, week or two to, uh, to figure out. This is my first time having a Lat 64 bag. It's goofy. It's, um, my first impressions is that, I mean, the quality seems good, um, but my first impressions so far, it reminds me of the Combat Ranger, the layout of it, and um, I don't know. I don't know if I like the putter pockets over here, um, but this pocket up here is interesting. The pockets, the situations, this one's up interesting. I'm not sure what to put right here, but yeah. This is unboxing of the Lat 64 Luxury e f um, E4 bag, and then the core as well. The core, I purchased it just on a whim. I don't really know if I'm going to use it because I don't think I'll carry all the stuff that I need, but who knows. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.